What's up? It's Damon. It's Joe. It's, it's Damon, Damon and, and Joe. Joe. Today we're here to talk to you about what you think, what the video was what called. Think, what you click on. So here's the deal. You know that we make videos in French, Portuguese, English, sometimes Spanish. We're trying to expand to Italian and German and you're like, how? How do you speak so many languages? Damon and Joe, how do you keep your languages one, one, 100? Or like 90. Or 90. <laughs> Are you guys doing language classes? No! I haven't taken a language class two years. You, it's been longer. I have not taken a language class a in like five years. Before. One, I don't want to spend money on an archaic textbook. Two, I don't want homework. And three, like your class is boring. So here we are, Damon and Joe, to show you how to learn a language from your home. <laughs> Where are they watching this video, Joe? YouTube.com. Did you know that there are tons of YouTubers in different countries who have millions of followers who speak different languages? Just the other day, I'm like, wow, I kind of want to listen to some Italian because it's been a while, so I googled top Italian YouTubers, and guess what? Lists of people that are actually entertaining. Those YouTubers might put subtitles on their videos in English so you can hear it in Spanish and watch, you know, what they're saying in English. Sometimes when I'm bored, I go back and watch the videos that you submitted subtitles for. Y'all so smart. Yeah, smart. And so the next part is, is that you can actually find these famous YouTubers and follow them on Twitter. Anytime you do your morning scroll, because I know you'll be doing those morning scrolls I to get out of bed. Every morning. You can see different languages without even having to look for them. And it, again, 140 characters. Just short, bite sized content. What's even better is that you can change your trending topics to a different country. So instead of seeing the United States or wherever you're watching this video from, I can change it to France and I can see all the hashtags that are trending in French. This is like a really good video. Ooh. I'm proud. Us. Next! Another super easy way to learn a language without doing much is to change your phone or your Facebook or your email into a different language. Just looking at my phone now, did I know how to say lock screen? Dev like lock my phone? Devrouiller. Devrouiller. Did I have to pay for that? No. It's free. It's all in the palm of your hands, people. So the next tip is something that's super, super, super like, why didn't anybody ever think about this before? <laughs> that's how I feel about this tip. Now listen, I'm sure you've heard of audible.com and we're like, how can we apply this to language learning? And then we're like, it's, it's easy. easy. This morning I'm brushing my teeth and I'm- Good. <laughs> Great. Good. I'm brushing my teeth and I'm listening to this book by Paula Hawkins. It's a book in English that I've seen. It's like the latest book. Okay, it's called La Fille du Train. I forget what it's called in English. It's about this woman who sees this couple from her train every day and then all of a sudden something happens. I only listened to a portion of it this morning. You know, so while it's like I'm brushing it left you at a clip. This is me. Hanger. I'm like this. Mm. Quoi? What? <laughs> that's why we're like breezing through this video so you can get back to your audience. I, that's why we talk so fast. Or I was listening to this one, it was about like self-help and motivation. I'm just like writing a blog and then all of a sudden I'm like, YES! <laughs> YES! And so it's really good. So if you start seeing like really, really well-written articles from this <laughs> point on, it's all thanks to Audible. Basically, if you're trying to get on the podcast wavelength like we are, you need to click in the description box below and go to http colon slash slash www.audible.com slash Damon and Joe. That's the link. <laughs> You've been listening to books. You sound so educated. Ding. Sign up for foreign magazines or foreign newsletters. You have that one magazine called Biba. Biba. Yeah, every time we travel or anytime I see a foreign magazine, I buy it. So I opened the magazine and within the first three pages, I already had a list of vocab that I had not <laughs> learned before. Almost every magazine you read here in the States has a foreign version. So you have Vogue in French and it's a perfect way to keep your attention and also learn the language. And get some style tips. I really like cooking foreign meals with recipes that are in different languages. So maybe it's time to cook pasta with an Italian recipe, or maybe it's time to cook brigadeiro with a Brazilian recipe. And you'll start learning about basic products that you probably use every day, but what that is in the language that you're trying to Yeah, learn. I mean, again, I let, I'm gonna let you talk this one, because I, somehow I think it's okay to just like leave the oven on after I'm yeah, done cooking. Yeah, so But I'm telling you, like when you read a cookbook in a foreign language, you start learning that like, oh wait, like, saute, we use that word in English, that's a French word. Or, or like, like al dente, pasta, what does that mean? To the tooth. So you start looking these things really? up. Really? Yes, why? al dente. It's like, it's, why? It's like, it's like, to the tooth. You gotta like it's really like, use your teeth. It's good. You need your teeth I'm to learning. eat pastas. Y'all know you're addicted to TV. Odds are you have a favorite TV show, you have a favorite Netflix series, and the best part is you can probably find those equivalents in foreign languages, people. Or we recommend like cooking shows, House Hunters, mm -hmm. uh, The Voice, these things that you don't really need to have a high level of language. 
but you to can still follow, follow along. along. Like smiles and expressions like, always <laughs> Yeah, you always watch that French House Hunter show. You know what I love more than House Hunters? House Hunters International. But you know what I love even more than House Hunters International? House Hunters International in French. It, exactly. So it's called Recherche Appartement Maison. It's weird. I never watch TV, but when I do, it's usually cartoons, and I watch different language versions of cartoons I already know. So I'll watch an episode of Hey Arnold, Hey Arnold in French, because I know what happened in English in that episode. It's not like you're completely lost. If you were to watch like a crime scandalous series, like, you're not gonna. I'm gonna I don't get even that. understand that in English. <laughs> Don't. I really hope you're not scared of like looking dumb because if you're trying to learn a language number one rule is that you cannot be afraid of looking or sounding like a crazy person. What? Here's the thing, how do we learn languages as a baby? We babble. We don't have a choice of like translating to our native language. You just have to do it. Sometimes I'm in the bathroom and I have a full blown conversation with myself in Italian and I'm like, do you just gonna think I'm crazy I'm like, or like somebody's in, in the, the shower bathroom? with me? Like, just me being crazy. Next tip. One time I was at the gym and you know how in the gym there's like a bunch of TVs. Mm -hmm. I happened to stand in the middle of the Spanish speaking television and the English speaking television. So I'm like running on the treadmill and then I look up and I'm seeing the same exact news story. The headlines were like, polar opposites for the same story. That is like Don't absolutely crazy. If you start looking at the news from a different country or different language, you start realizing that the thought process is often different, which totally. is a big piece of learning a language. Why is it that you can memorize every song lyric to the latest rap hit, but you can't remember languages? Because you're not making the languages make sense in a rap lyric form. Exactly. Bring the rap into a key, key, key. But well, honey, you gotta have a rhythm behind your language learning. Memorizing lyrics in a foreign language is an awesome way to get it flowing. The bonus to this is that you could show off at parties if you're with well, your foreign kids. And, and it's just like fun. And it's, it's not fun. like I'm doing exercises five through eight. I need three sentences by tomorrow. Like nobody ah. wants. That's not how you learn a language. I think we just like exhausted all of our language I'm done. tips. I gotta get back to la fille du temps. We're gonna leave you with that. Hopefully you learned something. We're not trying to sound like textbooks up in here. If you like these language learning tips, make sure to subscribe. We do videos about travel, about, about languages, language, about, about random lifestyle. Life problems. We do <laughs> problems. <laughs> below if you have any language learning tips from home. Clearly it's a better idea to go travel and study in the country, but sometimes it's not possible. Sometimes you just gotta chill. It's not an excuse though. your booty at home. But it's not an excuse. It's not an excuse. Don't get exactly. too comfortable. Like, get, get out of bed, everybody. We can at least get out of bed, please. <laughs> That's it. We'll see you later. Love, Love you. you. Bye.